this is Gene. I'm coming to you from Surprise, Arizona. Gene Smith from Gene Smith RV Travels. Today we're going to be talking about the Infantry Coalition Watch. Now, Fat Cat uh, Collections, he's on uh, YouTube, he did a really nice job showing everyone the difference between Invictus and um, this Infantry uh, Coalition Watch that's on eBay. Now, I purchased both of them, not one, but two coalition watches on eBay, and uh, I was pretty happy with the $25 a piece purchase of each one. Uh, they, if you want a watch that you can, you know, just bang around and, and uh, literally destroy, uh, this is the watch that it takes a beating. It keeps on ticking no matter what you do to it. However, there are some flaws in this watch, and one of them is, of course, it's made in China. Now, part of the problem with this watch is infantry watches, the uh, infantry, uh, what is it? The infantry watch brand that comes out of China, um, they don't cost more than $100. The, and for like 85 and 95 dollars but really they're not worth 85 or 90 dollars but they're comparable to a 20 to 35 dollar polo watch that you'd get from one of the department stores and uh, what I have found I really did like the polo watches but the problem is the coloring comes off you know the case shows wear after a very short period of time and they just uh, they just don't they hold up mechanically but the the, uh, the casing and the the coating and everything on them is uh, what I would call less than quality because it just they just don't last so I found that all of my polo watches US polo watches I'm uh, giving them away to uh, veterans that look like they need them when I go down to the VA now I've been in the military for um, 28 29 years six years in the Marine Corps uh, 24 years in the Air Force I was a combat engineer I worked on the flight line I worked on planes I worked on the riot squad um, I was an armorer um, I've done all, all kinds of uh, work in the Air Force. Basically, I wore pretty much one watch, and that watch was a Casio. I bought a really nice watch, a Seiko. I bought that. It was a Seiko's diver's watch, a true diver's watch. I paid a lot of money for it when I was making $89 a month in the Marine Corps as a private. And I had to put it on layaway, but I wore that watch for many, many years after I left the left the Marine Corps. And uh, I went to a jewelry store one day because it stopped working, needed to be cleaned. And uh, when the guy was talking over a hundred bucks to have it cleaned, it's an automatic watch. I said I just didn't want to spend the money. He says I'll trade you for a brand new watch. It won't be a diver's watch, but I traded it for a digital watch. A Seiko digital watch and you know what it lasted a year or so and then I wound up buying the Casio's so I've been buying the Casio divers watches for a long time and I've been down to 135 feet with the Casio's but I think we're getting off the subject now the subject really is these infantry watches okay everyone that sees them on my wrist they look at them and say wow what does that thing do and we all laugh when I tell them it tells time <laughs> so here it is here's the one that's on eBay it's uh, I paid $25 for it um, fat cat uh, on YouTube says he paid 15 for his I believe him they uh, uh, manufacturer suggested retail price 
they they say is uh, is uh, ninety five dollars, eighty five, ninety five dollars. But to me, it's not an eighty five or ninety five dollar watch. But it certainly is a copy of the Invicta. Uh, what is it? Nine nine zero zero three four or something like that. Invicta uh, Infantry Coalition watch. I'd never worn a watch, and I've never seen this watch before until this year, 2007. I would never wear, as an infantryman or a combat engineer, or as as a marine or a soldier or whatever, I would never wear a watch this big. Okay, I want something that's going to tell me the accurate time. I want something that's going to um, be small enough to slip underneath my uniform or my my uh, my chemical weapon suit or whatever. Anyway, the first problem I had with this watch, it, it's not really a problem, but this is supposed to be, I believe, 100 feet, something like that. Yeah, anyway, it's supposed to be water resistant. If you look at the back here, you can't see the little catches where you unscrew the back. So right after I got the watch, I emailed them and I said, where is this is the back of this watch is supposed to be a screw on back and uh they wrote back to me what do you mean screw on well i'm sorry if you look at this that's a press on back they do have a real nice insignia on the back there for the infantry brand but that that's not a screw on back that's a press on back but as like fat cat collection said he said, these watch bands will probably fit online for anywhere from maybe 135 to about 185, someplace in there. And a new one goes someplace around 325, 450, someplace in there, in that bracket, depending upon which one it is. Now, some of the Invictus have two Cyclopses on them. So you can read the dials in there. Now, I, I didn't care for something like that. So I probably wouldn't be ordering that um, from from uh, eBay or from Evine. Now, here's the other one. This is the first one I got. It's the gold one. It has the gold ring. I really like this. It's a great watch. For 25 bucks. if it does, stops working, I'll just throw it away. But I will keep the band because uh, it is a really nice band. It's comfortable. It weighs a lot. Now, I don't know exactly. I, I think we're looking at maybe three quarters of a pound. But I like big watches. I like those 50 millimeter watches. You know. Wait a minute. Did somebody mention Invicta? Oh, what's this I have around my, around my neck? There's my go-to watch right there, guys. That is an Invicta. It's an Invicta Excursion Gold, 18 karat gold. It's a reserve edition. It's uh, Swiss movement. Uh, it's quartz. Oh, that's, can I tell you, flame fusion. I love these little, little push buttons on the sides here. I wish I had better light. I got so much backlight. This is not working out very well, but I think it's good enough for this first film on, on, uh, on watches but th I really do like this one this is an eye catcher every time I wear this everybody's looking at it. the women look down they smile and they just keep on moving but puts a smile on their face they love this watch I bought this watch for $85 on a whim on eBay from a guy in Florida it had stopped running because of the battery and the band was broken so I put a new band on it it's really nice people love it man they just it's it's an eye catcher this is my go-to watch it's really my go-to watch anyway moving along I have a few Invictus and I really like them now a lot of people say you know if you're gonna buy three or four Invictus why don't you just save your money buy yourself a Bulova I got three Bulovas you know, I'm just starting to wear them because I'm not afraid to damage them now because I've got a few watches. But my Bulovas have sat on the shelf. I got the Bulova um, 
uh, Mar Mar Mariner Star Mar Mariners. I got two of those, and I got a bull of a dress watch with a leather strap. I like them, but I'm afraid to wear them. I don't want to get them all scratched up. I'm the kind of guy that, you know, I bang this, I bang that. I'm like a bull in a china closet. Anyway, uh, what I was getting at was if you're going to buy a nice <laughs> To me, it's a nice watch, okay? The finish on it's not very good. It's starting to uh, deteriorate in the back here, which is common. I mean, it's a, it says stainless steel back, and then it says case right next to it. Well, I don't think this is a stainless steel case, and I could be wrong. And on the knobs, it's starting to starting to wear wear off on the knobs, and it's got the little protector for your crown. But you know, I've worn this watch a lot, and. Uh, would I buy it again? I don't know. Would I buy an Invicta Coalition, Infantry Coalition watch like this without the Cyclops? Yes, I would. If it looked like this, and, and this I think is a kind of kind of a copy of the Invicta um, Infantry Coalition. So uh, I just wanted to show this to everybody. Um, and if you know, if you want to get something that if it's it doesn't work out, you can just throw it away. You know. But I'm sorry they didn't give me the screw on backs. They gave me the press backs when I notified them through eBay through uh, eBay mail. The response I got was, "What's the screw on back?" Um, kind of disappointing, but. I think as much as I've worn these, I've already got my money out of them. And when I get tired of them, I'll probably just give them away. So you can see on here, it's starting to come off of the, the crown protector. On the edges of the crown protector, the coloring's starting to wear off. I don't know what alloy is underneath here, but Invictus are all stainless steel. So if you wear the, uh, if you wear the finish off, you're going to be down to the stainless steel, and they're all stainless steel. The bezel does rotate and it rotates really good. It's got uh, your regular time on here and your electronic time in there. So I'm sorry for the light on this video, but uh, I wanted to get one out and it's going to be my start of a couple of videos like like uh, Fat Cat's got. I, I like to watch him and I, I'm, I believe a lot of people like to watch him. So I'd like to just kind of follow his lead. Anyway. This is uh, Gene coming to you from Surprise, Arizona. This is uh, December 2017, and uh, happy holidays. Now, I thought that um, I would take the back off of this watch because I wanted to see how waterproof it might be. And uh, this is what it looks on the back. It looks like in the back. Okay, you got to pull these straps back a little bit when you uh, release the case and uh, try to, and slide it out of there. So uh, that's what it looks like. It's got a uh, plastic in there, and it looks like it's not too bad. But if you notice around this edge right here, where my finger is tapping. That edge is, is uh, machined a little low for the for the case back that snaps on there, and the uh, I looked for the O-ring on the back here, and what I really found was there's an O-ring, but it's very tiny and it's down in that little slot. I don't know if you can see it or not. So uh, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't get this in much more water than possibly washing your hands. That would be the extent of it. So, 